Sometimes we make mistakes when we are coding, but compiler fixes them by doing some modifications that may result in performance issues. Hey YouTube, what's going on? In this video, we will learn about the defensive code that compiler adds to our code when we act like an idiot. If you are new and want to find your way back, subscribe and enable the notification bell. So, let's start. Here we have an immutable strike, and it means after instantiation, we can no longer change the values inside the properties of this struct. As you can see, we have two properties here with private setters and two methods that don't change any values. We also have a constructor here. If you don't know about this syntax, I have a video on my channel about tuples. Make sure to check it out, the link appears now on the top corner of the video. Now, let me show you some problem that may occur. Let's come here and here I have a class. A class with a field of type point. This class has a method which calls methods inside this point field. In the main method, I've just instantiated some class and called some method. Now, let's mark this as read-only. So, we know that as soon as we mark this as read-only, we can no longer change the value of the properties of this struct. Let me show you. Point.x equals to, let me make this public. and come back here as you can see we can't change the value but if this wasn't read only we could change it now what is the problem the problem is compiler sees this read only and doesn't let us to change this value but we can still change the value inside this method So what happens? This was read only and we changed the value. Let's just run the application and see the results. Five and five, even though we changed the value of the X, what is going on here? Let me tell you. I told you this struct is immutable, but this is just what we see. Compiler can't see this as an immutable struct. So what happens is that compiler makes a defensive copy of, of your field. And after you change the values, it keeps the values inside that copy. And as you know, structs are value types. When you copy a value type, you actually copy every property and field inside that struct to another location inside memory. This may not be a problem inside many of your applications, but what if such a method is getting called inside a hot path such as a loop, so you lose a lot of memory and performance during calling this method. Now let me show you one other problem and then we'll see the solution. Let me just close these. Here we have another class. Inside this class we have a method that takes point struct by reference using in modifier. If you don't know about in, ref, or out, I have another video on my channel which I described all of these. The link appears now on the top corner of the video. But why do we send an struct to a method by a reference? Because there are times that our struct is much larger than the size of a pointer inside the system. And when you pass any value type to a method, it is copied over. And we don't want this to happen in a hot path. So we send these large structs with reference. What is the size of a pointer? You can get it with int ptr. Dot size. 8 bytes in a 64-bit machine and 4 bytes in a 32-bit machine. 
let me remove it okay now you know that the same problem can occur here because this is read only you can't change the values here let me just again make this public to show you as you can see you can't change the value here but you can change it inside of this so here we have assigned to let's run it and see the result here I'm just creating an instance of the point and pass it to this some other method with a reference let's run the application you see it's still 5 and 5 now how we can fix it and is there anywhere else inside the point strike that this problem can occur yes you can change the values inside the getters as you know getters can have bodies and inside this body you can change values so what is the solution it's very easy you just mark your members that may change the values as read only you can only do this inside the structs you can't do this inside classes now you have to remove this you must add it to every member that you access inside read only context so add a read only here and we must also add read only to these if we use them inside that some other method or some method that we created so if we use it here point dot x this causes a copy because compiler doesn't know that our getter is going to change the value or not unless it sees the read only so if this is read only you should remove these to make compiler happy we can do this much easier if we know all of our struct is immutable let's remove these and mark this as a read only now all the members are marked as read only even these auto properties so to summarize every member that we access that is not read only inside a read only context such as this method or this one which is a read only context any of these members that we access must be read only to make compiler happy and avoid defensive copies that compiler is going to make this problem only happens with methods and properties any field access does not cause a defensive copy because compiler is fully aware of what's happening inside fields and compiler can prevent the build of that application that's it if you learned anything from this video please hit the like button and if you want to see more of these videos subscribe to my channel and enable the notification bell so you will be notified every time that I upload a new video. Until next time, adios amigos.